that this is the original house for the overseers that used to live on the plantation. Mm -hmm. um, well, one overseer and his or her family used to live in that house. Oh, okay. So, of course, this house dates back to uh, about, let me see, that's in the 1800s. This isn't as old as the plantation. Okay, came afterwards. Mm -hmm. Right, it's great. Over 100 years old. Right. So, yeah, this is where the overseer used to live and what's not. Okay. Yeah, it's different from the great house, which is where the plantation owner lived, but uh, that broke down now and it's gone. So okay. this is basically the only living quarters that you have. On the property? Yeah. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. All right. So... You you got some more stuff. This you said the property is what about ten acres? Ten what are we acres. sticking at? Okay, yeah. there's ten acres here. Mm -hmm. All right, and this is considered. This used to be an old horse stable. Oh. Um, it's renovated into a little apartment slash shop now. All right. But it used to be a horse stable. If you can tell the different stone difference in the stonework, you have the concrete and then the original bricks. Right, right. That used to be the opening for where the horses used to go in and what's not. Okay. So, but now it's a apartment my uncle's over there living for a bit all right yeah this yeah. over here this house used to be the blacksmith's house uh the blacksmiths yeah the truck is in the way but the blacksmith basically he used to repair the tools and what's yeah that. he used to be the one to keep the tools up yeah. to par sharpen yeah. everything yeah. anything to do with the metal works of the tools and any little things you know okay so that used to be the blacksmith's house okay and for those that don't know this is uh consider sugar cane right yeah sugar cane yeah this i was look this the, the look of a sugar cane and a lot of people don't know what it is and this actually where sugar is made from yeah they put it through a process yeah you can talk about the process right quick all right uh, about the process basically they have to squeeze the sugar cane juice out of this because all the juice is in right inside there okay uh, as mm -hmm. you can see, the ants in there because they know the sugar in there. It's sweet, so, yeah. <laughs> of course. Uh -huh. So they basically take the sugar out and then they have to boil the sugar. It has to be very hot. They have to boil right. the sugar. Back in the day, uh, they used to boil it through seven they had different, different yeah, pots. They but now it's just uh, one big pot since, you know, they have much more technology and what's not that could do that. Um, they basically boil it until it comes to a little crystallized, mm -hmm. a little crystallized form so right. that they can um, then drain out like molasses because mm -hmm. it still has some of the juice in it that's like the like um the sap or whatever yeah, yeah. they call it scum to be honest scum okay <laughs> i yeah. thought it was sap all right good yeah so mm -hmm. they let it drain and then that's where they get brown sugar not the white sugar the white sugar is when they bleach the brown sugar so to get white mm -hmm. yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah okay that's so, good back in 87 this uh half of the chimney broke off but that's basically where they used to boil the sugar this right here yeah, this, that's this? that's uh that's different. That's not the boiler. Okay. The boiler um uh, it was that thing right there that looks like a big pot. Uh huh. They, they call them coppers. That's where Let's they used over to. Uh, they used to put the sugar, the sugar cane juice, in seven of different of these. Actually, my dad, my grandfather, he has a bigger one. Yeah. To this in his yard yeah. where he used to collect water and this thing right here, man, so solid and heavy. You can't even lift. Three people can't even lift that. Nah. That's how heavy that thing is. Yeah. Uh, the bigger one that you had, that yeah, your the grandfather bigger. had. Yeah. Yeah, that's the first one they used to put it in. Right. It was from biggest to smallest. And okay. it was from coolest to hottest. The smallest one would be the hottest. Okay. And the hottest one is where they would then get the crystallized form of the sugar cane juice. Okay, that's what it was. Okay. So, yeah. They All used right. to pour them down into the different smaller ones and what's not. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, right. Man. So there you have it. That's just sugar cane. For those who don't, who don't know where sugar came from, that's where it came from. We right here in uh, Sinkits. Your man Jay Flem, Destination X, keeping it local. Oh,